Welcome back, everyone, to The Weekly Flare. Chris, why don't you tell me about these stories? Well, as, in. as you can tell, we've switched positions now. James started the first half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am doing this half of the second half. Because we know the that half J- of the second half. Yes, because James is going to talk the last half, and we all know that. What? <laughs> I'm not going to talk a whole second half. Well, we got to fill this up because my stories will be about ten minutes, and then we got to fill in another ten minutes. Well, that's something. why we put you on the bottom half. Chris. That's why I'm yeah I'm on the bottom now. No, we we're just trying to switch things up. Trying new to switch year, things up. we want to try some new stuff. Yes, and uh, as new stuff, James doesn't want to use a green screen screen in here. So well, I got to get it worked out first. We got to k- work out the kinks. Um, it looks like... And the spacing's different. Like, there's a lot of things that go into it. And now we'll have our background. We have a great background. We um, just need something up here. Maybe we could just screen screen this part of the wall and, like, put, like, a skyline behind us or something sweet. Something cool. Like, we're, you know, like, in the movies. You know, not that everyone doesn't know where our studio is at this point, but whatever. Now, um, have you released this one on the podcast yet? No, I haven't. Are you going to? I guess so, since it's here. Yeah, you might as well. I just hadn't put it up yet. I mean, you want to do that right now before my stories? No, let's do your stories. All right, first. got it. Well, these stories are for Brinson. Brinson! Our, uh... Our resident critic. Yeah, our resident critic. Our uh, Mr. Podcast himself. He's going to be doing two podcasts Mr. now. Mr. Podcast? He well, does. he kind of has three, but one of them... Really? All, yeah, because Combo Starters actually records twice a week. They do Combo Starters... Which is like all about their video game stuff. And then do a second show called Casual Cast, which is about like TVs and movie shows. Gotcha. TVs and movie shows. Did you like that? Movie shows. Movie shows. That's right. So. I say stupid things sometimes. James and Hello. Brinson. Spoiler. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this. You can say. We started last week. They are doing a new podcast called. Uh, Geeks of Just Us. Just Us. Just Us. Yes. They're going to be doing yeah, a podcast and bringing you great Superhero, superhero, comic heroing, movies. mostly superhero-y, anything superhero-y, superhero-ish, that kind of stuff. That stuff. I need to take a listen so I can learn more and more about superhero. Yeah, we had some good talk last week. It was the pilot episode, so you know it's gonna be a little rough, but. So um, yeah, Brinson's our resident um, critic. He's the, he's the critic. He's like, you guys talk about the same thing all the time, apparently. And I, I, I honestly, I'm gonna bring up new stories. I'm gonna try to, and so. I mean, this story really goes out to Brinson because we talked about something like this two weeks ago of a man in a wheelchair who created something of his own, um, a snowplow that connected to his wheelchair, Yeah, his motorized wheelchair. This one is a lot more cool from this the picture. One this is one really cool. looks better. It's got uh, chains it had, on it. It had chains. Had the chain, like a tank. It, it had a looked tank like style. a little tank. It looked like a little tank with a plow Did on it. Did you ever play Advance Wars on GBA? No, I didn't. Oh. Well, it kind of, there's, there's a, there was a tank that kind of looked like that gotcha. from the top. Gotcha. Um, but we have, uh, let's see here, what is his name? Jason, Justin a- Anderson. He is a veteran, mm. and he is a cancer survivor mm. and an amputee. Wow. Um, but he Rough decided life. to give back to other people. Uh, surprising, isn't it? It's a pr- are, imagine that. We're talking about people giving back. Giving back. <laughs> what a surprise. What a surprise. Um, especially what he's been through. Usually these type of people, they are given a lot especially what they go through but this man has decided to give back to his community so he constructed a wheelchair with a snowplow on it just like the man from two weeks ago who was plowing sure his own last week no it was it was sure two... it wasn't last week i'm sure it was two weeks ago i thought we were sitting here when we were talking about it. maybe i don't remember we recorded online for some reason i thought it was when we were talking about getting ready to be snowed in but Mo- man, i might have been it might have been um but we can tell you this that you know I don't know when, if you've driven a lot this week, but I've been driving a lot this week with work. And a little I, bit. Every single time I drive, I see a truck with a uh, snow plate, plate plow in the front of it, which is very interesting. Um, but this one, he is a motorcycle mechanic, and he constructed this. Nice. And he has plowed people's driveways, and he has plowed his own driveway. He's plowed everything he can think of, and he's doing it, and he's using this every snowfall. And this can be... This is an off-road wheelchair. Wouldn't that be terrible if he went and like plowed everyone else's sn- driveways, and then he gets back to his and like forgets to plow it, and then the next day he gets up and it's just like a sheet of ice, and he's like, "No, <laughs> I, got- I like." Or he like plows everyone else's, you know, but then like by the time he gets to his, like either it's stacked up too hard or like the bottom of it's frozen, so mm. even though he can get the snow off of it, like it's ice still underneath it. Did anybody plow your apartment? Complex? Yeah, they came out Saturday morning actually and plowed the whole all the. 
The whole parking lot. It was great. No one plowed my apartment building, so it was a what? sheet of ice for a good quarter mile. Well, that's you know. That's where you I live. Gotta, you gotta live in the the uppity up. I mean, I'm thinking about getting a wheelchair. Also, this is the only apartment in Wahlberg, so true. Know. So the city of <laughs> Wahlberg not, takes everything. It's not right? like it's that hard. <laughs> they gotta find something to do in Wahlberg. Oh, what are we gonna do with all these snow plows? We well, have them for the whole day, but we already did the whole city. <laughs> we might as the well go one road. Yeah, might as well. Might as well go through. But he's going to be doing this every snowfall. He's really worried about kids slipping and falling. And we always hear stories of someone falling down. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I almost I, fell. Yeah, I heard lots of people fall. That's not good. Oh, you got to be careful out I there. almost fell, especially when you have two dogs on the leash and they decide to go this way and then go back out this way and you have two leashes underneath your feet. Where, where are you going to go? You should just learn to walk your dogs better. Well, they're crazy puppies. I don't buy it. It's not the dog's fault. Can't blame this on the dogs. I am blaming it on the dogs. No, you can't do that. First off, you're not old enough. That's true. I'm not that old. I'm 22 no. years old, and I feel like I'm 28. Do you feel like you're 22? Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Well, in April, I'm going to be 23, and we know what happens when you're 23. Uh, you're not 22 anymore? I don't know. Nobody likes you when you're 23. I'm 27. I don't. I feel exactly the same as I did when I was 20, other than that I'm married. So. Nobody, nobody likes you when you're 23, and that's from Blink-182. Uh, I don't know. Everyone liked me when I was 23. I liked you when you were 23. I don't even, did I know you? I knew you when you were 23. Yeah. Yeah. Actually You've been here for yeah. a while. <laughs> I keep on forgetting how long I've been here. Anyways, we have uh, more snow. Snow. Snow is great. I hate snow. You, I like the snow. I, 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 I like the snow. You know the why first I like the snow? Because here in the great state of North Carolina, we get enough snow to be like, oh, that was nice. We had some snow. We don't get it for like three or four weeks straight of like being buried. True. So I love it. It's they, like one good, good day of being snowed in, then like another day of like having to be careful while you're driving around, and then usually you're fine. And they close school for about three days. Well, that's stupid, but yeah, that's I, a diff- that's that's because they just don't have the manpower to clear their roads fast enough. So like all the side roads are still like sheets of ice. See, that's funny because I never had that problem because no. I never lived off of that side of the exactly. road before. Yeah, I mean, not since I've lived here in Washington, I did. But that's the thing is, you know, it's very nice. Uh, people, it's safe, but I mean. No, I mean, it's it's safe to do. They didn't do it one year, and like I guess a school bus got in a really bad accident, and a bunch of kids got hurt or something. Mm. They're just so being cautious. now they're just being extra cautious, which is fine. But the kids like it. The kids like it. The being bus out of could also just like not have to drive down every road in every neighborhood. Or they can get snow chains. You know what? I, no, I mean, come on. The bus shouldn't be driving on snow. Like that's just, you know what I mean? I thought it would be heavy enough to drive. No, it's not about the heavy. I'm just saying like that. It's just not. Mm. There's no reason for it. But like if all the side roads in the neighborhood are icy, but like the main roads are all clear, like the bus should be able to drive on the main roads and the kids can just walk to this. You know what I mean? True. Without trying to fall. I guess I sound like a bitter old man now. That's okay. Um, They delayed my college and then they closed down my college a couple days. But yeah. It's, it is what it is, man. Snow's crazy. Where I'm from, it snowed and at three o'clock it all melted and it was gone. In, what, in California? In the desert, yep. Where your dad used to live. They haven't even seen rain this year. That's crazy. Actually, I don't know. They may have now. It's a new year after all. So, uh, but speaking of snow, I mean, we, our, our one Russian guy that listens to us is laughing at us about snow. You get about three inches and he's like, oh, he's I'm like, sitting three feet. I live in snow all year. <laughs> now, have a Russian guy listen to us? That'd be sweet. We had that Russian bot. Yeah, you the search the bot. bot. Yeah, yeah, the Russian search the bot. The Russian search the, bot. The Russian search bot knows. He knows about snow. He knows about snow. How do we know it's a him? The search bot could be a female android. It's an it. I mean, I think, you know, robots are hims and hers, right? True, could be. I mean, only because we, I don't know. Do you know what? I don't want to get into <laughs> robot gender. This is weird. Do you know- <laughs> Should we get us out of here? Do you know what nation is right under Russia? Near it. China. Poland. Oh, okay. Poland. They're not under it. There's a. They're to like the left. To the left. But we have a statue in Poland. My Mm -hmm. mom's Polish. She makes really good pierogies. Does she make good Polish sausages? Yes, she does. And we have Jacob Weyher. I can't even say that name. I I always have a problem with last names. He's a 17th century Polish nobleman and military leader. And he's still alive? (laughs) No. Here's a statue. Oh, I thought this was going to be like, oldest man alive found in Poland kind of story. (laughs) He's about 400 years old. Yeah, no yeah, biggie. No biggie. But uh, he is, um, there's a statue out there that sits 
and, of him uh, in one of the great cities, I guess, of Poland. Sure, the one that he founded or something yes, like that, Yes, right? the, the town he founded. Mm-hmm. Now, the funny thing is, is about this statue. The statue. The statue. It looks a like statue. a nobleman it of the 1700s. Like the dude. It looks like him. He's got some hair, and he's holding like a helmet under his arm. Mm-hmm. And but he has a cape. He has a cape, and he has long hair, mm-hmm. and he's standing like this. Yeah, he's know. got like the helmet under one arm, and the other one like kind of off to the side. Yes. Now, when the snow fell in Poland, it covered his top half, mm-hmm. and he ended up looking like Darth Vader. He does. He fact, looks like, look Darth like Darth Vader, and it's ridiculous. See, if I had a green screen right here, I can say. This is what he looked like. You know, we don't need the green screen right here. I could just cut it in in the YouTube video. James is going to cut it into the YouTube, and it's going to be really Oh, I cute. am? I'm going to cut it in right here? <laughs> I'm going to cut it in right here over your face. I would look just like snowed in Darth Vader. the whole episode. They'll be like, why is this picture of Darth Vader on Chris's face the whole show? And then they'll get to this point and be like, oh. <laughs> now, it has uh, over 2,000 likes and Facebook likes. Uh, or 2,000 Facebook likes. Why'd you have to go and bring Facebook into this? This is supposed to be good news. Yes. So don't, yeah. So (laughs) this, uh, we were just talking about Facebook and drama. Uh, but yes, Instagram and Facebook, and they have a lot of likes on there. I think it's pretty cool. It's not one of those things where like you have to like squint your eyes and tilt your head. It really does just look like a statue of Darth Vader. See, I'm going to, we're going to start a petition tomorrow to start in Greensboro to raise a statue of Darth Vader. Why? I think that would be kind of cool. Darth Vader? Yes. Why? Okay, who do you want? I don't know. Not Darth Vader. Like Chewbacca or someone cool. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. You can get Chewbacca or Han Solo. They need, they need, they need Chewbacca in Tobaccoville. And it could be like Chewbacca chewing tobacco. <laughs> Chewbaccaville. All right? I like it. This is a very good idea. I think that'd be a very clever marketing. Yes. Not that I... Uh, condone chewing tobacco because it's terrible for your health. But... A chewing gum. We'll change it to chewing gum. Yeah, but then they want to make sense in tobacco. But unless he was chewing like nicotine gum to help you quit smoking. Well, Chewbacca should become an advertisement scheme for chewing gum. Chewbacca. Like the, the gum's called Baca gum. Yes, Baca gum. I'm sure Disney would license out that if you wanted to do it. Unless you want to be like tobacco, you know, Chewbacca. You know, Chewbacca. Chewbacca gum or <laughs> Chewbacca tobacco. Chewbacco. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Oh my gosh. We're becoming marketing experts. I'm changing my major right now. Okay. We're becoming I didn't marketing know you had experts. had a major. I don't. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm <laughs> starting my major now. <laughs> this is the funniest we've ever been, man. Oh, like I said, we're mixing it up. I know, Keeping we're mixing it, it up. We're getting fresh in here. Just like. We're getting fresh in here. I took a shower this morning. I took a shower I'm when I got my hair day. cut. <laughs> Speaking of fresh. Yes. Will Smith? No. <laughs> Philadelphia. I really don't know where I was going with that segment. I have no idea. 93 years old is pretty fresh. No, not really. Freshly old. 93 years old is definitely not fresh. It's more like a finely aged wine or something like that. 23 years old. Do you agree that 23 three years old is fresh? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It depends on how old you're living to, I guess. Let's say 93. Uh, 23 to 93, yeah, it's about, about a quarter seven. of your life, right? Just yes, about a quarter of your life. You're still pretty 23 fresh. 23 times 4 would be f- about 90, yes, it's about a quarter. So. Yeah, so we're still fresh at the age of 23. Norwood Thomas uh, met somebody in World War II. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a veteran, and he had his with his one-time girlfriend, uh, but he has not seen her. In 70 years. Why? Um, Let's see here. Come on. Come on. Thomas lives in Virginia Beach. Mm -hmm. um, And I believe he met this girl in... uh, He was stationed in London. And he met the girl in that area. Now, uh, she's 88 years old. Okay. And they had their first Skype call. And they... uh, The... What? No, no. Oh, no. Your face turned. You turned... They've been writing letters back and forth, and now there's a GoFundMe account, and now the Virginian pilot is going to be able to see her from the Air New Zealand. They have funded, raised over 10, I don't know, 10,000. Wait, so they met in World War II? Yes, and have not seen each other since. Oh, okay. They didn't so, like get married or anything. No. They, they just met. They raised $10,000. I don't know if that's Canadian dollar or whatever, but... Uh, 
Air New Zealand recently confirmed it will cover first class tickets for Thomas and his son, so he can go see her. So that's cool. I think we've we've talked about stories like this before, like those two best friends that or brothers that were recently connected. One lived in America, one lived in like yeah, they Australia. were both adopted when they were kids exactly. or something like that. Yeah. So this isn't the first time we've heard about this, but this is actually a pretty cool story. Um, yeah. So have they been keeping in contact since World War Two? Writing or? letters back and forth. Okay. Yes. So now it's time for him to do so. So uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, it's going to be a great. Great reunion. Kind of like how we're going to have in the Weekly we'll Flare in 25 years. We'll be a long overdue years. reunion. And we'll still be doing the Weekly Flare in 25 years. I might not. What? <laughs> you can't just back out of this. This is life now. This is your life. Well, the thing is, is with the Weekly Flare, there will always be positive news stories. And always be techno- technology advancements. Yes. And always be something to talk about. Always. So where always. are you going? You can't leave. I can't leave. I, I am stuck here. You're just stuck here until and, there's no more news to talk and about. And if I move, we have confirmed that we can do stuff over Skype now. Yeah, there'll always be news to talk about. Always. Who's going to talk about prosthetic arms and wheelchairs if you're not here? That's really all I talk about, isn't it? Yeah, wheelchairs and, and, and robotics. I'm starting to think you have like some weird obsession <laughs> or something with wheelchairs and fake arms. And 3D printing and on prosthetics. Yeah, it's... It's kind of creepy. Well. Well, I think we should wrap it up. That was a pretty solid show. Well, speaking of 3D printing, Mm -hmm. did you want to go ahead and... That's not 3D printed. Okay. We should probably do that since we teased it already. Exactly. Might as well. Okay. Well, everyone knows that I have this Amiibo thing going on. Obsession. I have with me here the uh, Mario, the modern color Mario 8-bit Amiibo to now go along with the... uh, classic colored mario 8-bit amiibo so yeah i got both the marios now and it's pretty cool those seem very easy to make they're i mean it's just plastic but so anyways we got we got another mario now to go with the amiibo collection i just pre-ordered the ryu amiibo so the super smash brothers line is coming to a close (coughs) Um, that's gonna sound nice yeah, that'll be nice because then the amiibo buying can slow down a little bit and just get you know the ones they do here and there. There's still quite a few I don't have. You have all the Yoshi's now. Yes, I have all the Yoshi's except for the uh, Mega. They made one that's like larger, like a young Yoshi that's even bigger, like teddy bear sized. No, I don't think it's quite that big. We're but, gonna have to start moving stuff here or build a shelf, no, like we no, said on the very they first. They all have to squeeze on them. All the amiibo have to squeeze on the same shelf because. That's the weekly flare for you. That's just the way they look in Smash Brothers. And they're designed to look like Smash Brother trophies, so they all have to just group together really tight. I'm waiting for an earthquake to happen. Uh, I, I can just put them back on there. It's no True. biggie. All right. So, Chris, say these fine people of the internet wanted to keep up with you. Where would they go? The only thing I'm going to give you is my Twitter. And that's never lose heart. That is one word altogether. I'm not going to give you my Facebook because I've been getting fed up with Facebook in the past week. All it is is drama filled. So you know what? You follow you need me on Twitter. Friends. I do need better friends. Follow me on Twitter, because that right there. Yeah, is, there's no drama on Twitter. There's there's just funny stuff on Twitter. Anyways, you can follow me on Twitter at James Walter, and uh, that's Walter with an O because it's spelled cool. And you can find me there. And mostly, um, I tweet the most during uh, wrestling pay per views. I he found. does. Um, otherwise, I do tweet every now and then about other things, but uh, mostly I tweet during wrestling pay-per-views or if I'm doing something new. So you can find that there. And of course, you can keep up with the Weekly Flare. Just go to theweeklyflare.com. That's the easiest way. You can find all the links to everything there, to iTunes, to our RSS feed if you subscribe on Android, to our Twitter, our Facebook, the Instagram that hasn't been updated in a no, while because I don't really take a lot of pictures and Chris doesn't. Except for of himself, so it's there though, and there's some interesting pictures every now and then. Anyways, share the show with somebody because we would really appreciate it, and we'll see you guys again in seven days. Peace.